Welcome back to Gear for the Common Game. Today we're going to be talking about Jazal Goldman. A Johnny's little brother? Big brother? I don't know. It just says brother. But anyway, he apparently likes the crowd. He has the, uh, the whole Hulk Hogan aspect of, you know, the bigger the crowd, the stronger he is. Anyway, actually, the stronger your entire attacking team is. So, I went the token route here, but I'd, yeah, we'll just get right on in it. What I uh, here, let's go through our our ramp first. Of course, I've got a soul ring and a marble diamond. Boy, there's an awesome turn one if I've ever seen it. A mind stone, a thunder totem, and actually the seer's lantern. I don't think is bad. Simply because, I mean, card selection, it's not amazing card selection. I think it's humorous. This is kind of the exact opposite of a top. It's, it's super bad. Anyway, it's better than nothing. And it does provide the uh, colorless ramp there. Now, I've got them all categorized by... Let's go through some randomness now Oketra's Monument was kind of the first thing that I went to because you know the f I only have a few natural creatures in the deck and when I do get them getting a the free warrior out of it is not bad mono white makes a few things staples I do like brave the elements Disenchant and leave no trace. Now, obviously, I'm really, really scared of Ghostly Prison because, you know. But also, cards like Root Board and Defenses and Make a Stand are also anti Wrath cards, you know. I mean, we are running a couple of, uh, of Wraths ourselves. Uh, Day of Judgment is pretty much. Unless I buried another one here, is the only one that's gonna, you know, hurt our team. And we're running some spot removal, celestial purge, wing shards. More people walk into wing shards than they should, because I think there's an entire magic playing generation that didn't learn to attack before you cast spells. This card taught us all something. Emily Glare Condemn and STP. Now, Captain's Claws, it has the ability to spit out a token every turn, you know? Intangible Virtue for when you want that general win. The Trample is amazing. But there's the Lifelink. Let's talk a little bit about the Lifelink. Now, I'm not real strong on actual life game till we saw Horse Drive. Now, man, this kind of makes you re-question things like Congregate and Peach Garden Oath, even stuff like Angel's Feather and the Staff. So, it also makes, you know, everything, just playing magic makes Soul Warden good. You know, I mean, people play with creatures. We're going to have multiple creatures. Uh, but when you when your opponent plays a, a creature on their turn and it triggers your Soul Warden, it triggers your Sun Mare, got to be the best feeling in the world. Now, uh, let's... Let's get here. I think I have these actually categorized by uh, CMCs here. Try to do that so that I don't like duplicate stuff because, you know, it's happened in the past. One, we got Launch the Fleet because why not? I, I mean, this deck is allowing me to play with some cards that I wouldn't normally play with. I think once I get done, I'll see what percentage of magic I'm actually playing with. But to my knowledge, I'm not running Launch the Fleet in any other deck. But you know, hey, and yes, it could eat up some mana. 
but tapped and attacking, that's pretty sweet. Stuff like murder investigation, just in case your general does die, or, you know, something big, like the Crusader, who, that is going to be huge. Get back to our twos. Precinct Captain. Now, I, I love how they print the same card multiple times and give it a different flavor. I think Raise the Alarm was first to give us two soldiers. Then we had Gather the Townsfolk that gave us two humans. And then we had Servo Exhibition that gave us two servos. I mean, okay. What I'm looking he at here, the reason why I'm playing every single one of these is this is one card that generates two creatures. It's one card that generates two permanents. Now, clearly, some are better than others. The soldier, there's more support for. Um, Midnight Haunting, oh, you know, they gave us the uh, Lingering Souls bad version first, and then they gave us the Lingering Souls. Can't use Lingering Souls because the black mana cost in its text box. But Midnight Haunting, here again, it's one card for two permanents. I'll pay the extra one for them to have flying. I'm good with that. Three dudes, seriously. Mirror Entity is just a bomb draw when you can, I mean, if you're pairing this with just, oh my gosh, it's so good. And, and of course, you know about the power of Sacred Mesa winning games since, you know, it was printed. Um, but there is that cost of sacking a Pegasus. And we're getting fuzzy. And Mary Angel's going to give you birds for just dropping lands, and that is good. Captain's Call, another uh, one card, three permanents. Shram's Expertise. Now, am I going to be able to... I, am, I chose this card based on the first line. Okay. I'm never going to bank on being able to use the second line. If it happens, hey, it's all upside. That's beautiful. But... Three for one, not bad. Now, Celestial Crusader is in here only because I do not have another Skull Clamp. Uh, the Intangible Virtue and the Celestial Crusader would would come out with the Skull Clamp, but I'm all out of Skull Clamps. I don't know how. They've been printed in like all but one Commander set. Um, so... But Celestial Crusader, it doesn't do close to the same thing, but it does pump your team, and it flies. I mean, it is a good card, but I would rather have the the card draw. Now, the Resto Angel is going to blink things when it comes into play, things like the Spring Jack Shepherd. Or the Captain of the Watch. Or the Cloud Goat Ranger. Night Captain of Eos. R the Regal Kitty. Because I can't say that word. Geist. Monk. So, these are our perfect angel targets. And we are getting really close here, so let's back that up. Now, let's see where we're at. Of course, we've got to have Mr. Ogre here, because, you know, we're going to have three uh, uh, other creatures, and choosing how blockers work seems strong. Take up arms is another one for three. Nightwatch, you only get two. But they are two twos, and they do have Vigilance, so I, I guess that's good. Uh, triplicate Spirits is the Convoke version of Three Dudes, seriously. Beast of Burden. Let's smush this down a little bit. There's air in them things. Man, double sleeve it'll do it every time. Beast of Burden, 
is a horrible horror. Uh, this is the card, Wizards, that you need to downshift to common. Come on. Can you believe some of the cards that went down to common in uh, Iconic? Wow. But, you know, this isn't bad to blink with the Angel either. Because, you know, a bunch of dudes. Now, Gideon's Phallix, we're just about always going to, by the time that you get to where you're casting this, you're going to have Spell Mastery. And the ability to use this as a Trump spell. Now, granted, it's a seven mana trick if you're using it that way. But, hmm. Indestructible. White Sun Zenith gets a bunch of kitty cats. Conqueror's Pledge gives us a bunch of core. Then, of course, we got a bunch of humans. And if we get lucky, we can experience the miracle of a bunch of angels. Now, I've got one card left. And uh, to, to believe it or not, that is an entire stack of the tokens that this... Uh, it's not even all of them. I mean... There's horses and angels and humans and soldiers and cats. and uh, it's The pile of tokens is probably going to be bigger. But do you know what they do not make a token for? This is why I was lobbying for token packs. Is because Ication Town. There's no such thing as a citizen token. Now, granted, Ication Town, this is probably the first deck you've ever seen it actually in but six for four one ones is not amazing but it is very nostalgic and let's face it it's still one card for four four creatures so oh and by the way uh there's only three cards that uh my son was wanting to make a citizen deck i was like son that's three cards but that's it anyway that's what I've got for today. I, I do appreciate you watching, Mr. Jazal Goldman, the non-sparked Leonin. But I think it's time to shuffle and cut. <laughs>